Hello. So yeah, welcome to experiment with conic sections. Yeah, conic sections are one of the most beautiful objects I have studied in mathematics. They really intrigued me with questions that I couldn't answer in my high school. Nobody could answer at first. So of all, we should understand what exactly is a conic section. And for that, we need to understand the equation and the geometry of cone. So this is the geometry of cone. And you can understand that it has a sort of circular structure and the circle radius is growing, right? Therefore, the equation, if you see, it's sort of x square plus y square equals z square. So if you cut horizontally parallel to the xy plane, that is z is equal constant, then you get x square plus y square equals some constant and that's circle, right? Next. So what comes next? The idea of conic sections and you know, must have heard of it, that it's just intersection of a plane and a cone okay different in way of intersection gives different shapes and that's what we will study today so a cone a cone is rather described as like uh, in evolving circles right as described in the first slide a plane it is an it looks like this and uh, it's is usually described by ax plus by plus c z equal to some constant yeah i'm trying to make less number of equations to make it more public like available for public who, are, who don't like equations okay so now intersection of this plane and a cone is called conic section that's what you see on the slide. Okay. Now conic section. First is a cone, which is x square plus y square equals z square, and this is a plane, which I take deliberately. Uh, that is z equal to m y plus c. Okay. And the idea is that to find the intersection of this plane and a cone, we should replace was z with m y plus c and we get the following right and we solve it and we get a beautiful looking equation x square plus that stuff i have not figured it out <laughs> so now we have got this we have got the following and let's see what happens if m equal to one you see you got a parabola right and it's if and only if condition it's a parabola what now, the, if this is a diagram of the parabola, but you see what the question actually comes why for m equal to 1? What is the geometry of m equal to 1? It's coming out of the parabola. The reason is that if you take a line, the reason is that y equal to z equal to m y plus c is taken due to that reason that you will see that in the y z plane. Suppose you are seeing this cone in the y z plane, then see the par uh, parabola will happen only if it's parallel to the well, this line of the cone. Why it's so? Because otherwise the parabola will either become a hyperbola, it will cut the, uh, cut the other part of the cone or it will intersect the parabola in such a way that it becomes an ellipse, it becomes a closed curve. So essentially to become open-ended like a parabola, you need to be parallel with the slanting line, right? And that's where the m equal to 1 comes up beautifully, right? That's the beauty and mathematics of it. And then there is projection and conic sections and the relationship. This is one of the best part of this slide. Is that So I often, in my childhood days, when I was just learning parabola and conic sections and ellipse, I thought that there was used to be a lamp and night and I used to stare at the ceiling. I was thinking at the time i used to think at the time that why is this a parabola why is this a hyperbola why is this an ellipse i couldn't find but i know the answer now and i'm gonna share it to you soon yeah so this looks like a hyperbola 
this looks like an ellipse this looks like a circle this looks like a parabola and this looks like a hyperbola and parabola hyperbola most probably yeah. <laughs> it's a hyperbola so observe that why it's happening you must have seen the intersection right sort of the cone is the torch so the starting point of the light is the tip of the cone and it's going and it's forming the light which is giving up as a solid sort of structure the light is the cone okay and the uh, surface of the pillar of the like of the wall not the pillar sorry uh, is the plane and it's intersecting see when the surface is parallel to the plane of the uh, torch right the glass of the torch that means the it's the circle the plane is cutting parallel to the base of the cone so it's giving a circle now see this image it's cutting a different way and it's cutting different ways and see it's exactly the same reason why the conic sections if cut at different points give different shapes so that's the entire idea okay it's beautiful right and now the natural equation comes up and passionate mathematical students is that can a parabola be constructed by a compass or a straight edge what do you think it can't be but points on parabola can be why it can't be because a circle equation and uh, and the line equation gives rise to a certain set of points right and using that we cannot form a parabola so that's an exercise and please let me know in the comments okay but for now let's see how construct a point on the parabola first take the directrix and the focus and take a point p as denoted and let's take the perpendicular bisector of p and the focus let's call it m the perpendicular bisector passes through m the midpoint and it passes through x it cuts the dotted line at x now there's only one single unique focus uh, sorry unique parabola that passes through the x have focus at denoted with the directrix as shown you can prove it and the mathematics is very simple it's just this that x and the focus distance is same as the x and the p distance just just comes from the perpendicular bisector property that's it that's so beautiful right but can you draw the whole parabola we have discussed we cannot but i leave it to you to complete the mathematics let's move on so let's come to the applications of conic sections so it's ellipse right so you know the property of the ellipse that if, if you throw a ball from the ellipse or light from the ellipse and it reflects back along the surface of the ellipse it comes back to the other focus right and that's where doctors use this to treat the kidney stone i forgot whether it's named lithoscopy or something like that but it's something very beautiful obviously then comes the elliptical orbits it's we all know about it right and then the projectile motion so i was a cricketer so i know this quite well it was my bread and butter every day when i was a kid and this beautiful property of a uh, parabola that the long that the at uh, the focus parallel rays meet that's it that's used in light bulbs and the antennas so antenna is a skip in uh, the focus of the parabola like shield where which captures the information from the satellite in terms of rays okay this is very beautiful and again the projectile motion when you jump off the cliff not for suicide but for diving into the blue water and the finger prints they're very close to elliptical but they are can you guess why and this room acoustic room where if you stand and whisper at some points i can hear you properly clearly from the other end because 
it just uses the elliptical properties because we are standing in the focus right so sweet and the billiard ball the elliptical billiard ball but we haven't seen any anything about hyperbola right let's see it and when a jet plane passes it gets sonic waves right and observe the the hyperbola cuts the way hyperbola cuts the cone it's exactly the same way the hyperbola is squared on the water it's beautiful no and the hyperbola gears for better and faster speed and finally the hyperbolic motion of a comet around the sun beautiful so let's come back to the perfect compass the compass that the arabs have discovered in the early ages and the picture looks like this in his diary his name is kitabul kuf kufika i'm very uh, bad at pronouncing arab big stuff but it's something beautiful out there okay and we'll see a modernized version of that but before that you know that ellipse can be formed by taunting the fixing two points there's a focus and then taunting the string between them and revolving around it that's the picture you see is a more modernized version using interesting and uh, iron and steel and now the plastic version of the arabic ones perfect compass also leonardo da vinci has also created this form independently uh, years after arabic arab did it okay so they are all beautiful and leonardo da vinci was a genius and yeah the perfect compass is here for you the it has this parts you will see there is two degree there are two degrees of freedom uh yeah so one is the bolt that you see not that's uh, one of the motions and another motion is horizontal that you will see soon so this is a circle in the making and the ellipse in the making a parabola in the making and a hyperbola in the making and that's it so yeah so this is the way now i i want another comment from you that why is this happening so can you guess the geometry can you guess the cone out here it's beautiful it's sort of same as the light but can you guess it why think about it and stay tuned stay blessed and for more visit chinta.com for beautiful mathematics Good night and bye bye